Hello friends, it's Miss Melissa, and today we're talking about germs, the germs that are on our hands and how we can get those germs off of our hands. How do we get germs off of our hands? Because you know the germs are what make us sick. We're gonna watch the short video, it's from YouTube called Sid the Science Kid, and he talks about germs. And then we're gonna do an art activity. Let's see what Sid has to say about germs. And I shall be in charge of all the ice cubes in the world because I am Dr. Beaks. Ha ha! Hi, I'm Sid. Welcome to my room. Hey, Sid. Breakfast oh. is almost. Uh, uh, let's go! Uh, ready. Bless you, Dad. Thanks, Sid. <laughs> Dad's got a cold. <laughs> 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 Mom and Dad keep telling me if I don't want to catch Dad's cold, I gotta wash my hands. Mm, wash your hands before you eat. Wash your hands before you sleep. Wash your hands after you go to the bathroom. Uh, boy, pretty soon I'm gonna have to wash my hands before I wash my hands. <laughs> well, what I want to know is why? Why do I gotta keep washing my hands? I'm really hungry. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> breakfast time! Hey mom, hey Zeke. Hey dad. Betcha! <laughs> Bless you. Ooh. Bless you. Bet you. Thank you. <laughs> Morning, Sid. Hey dad. Oh. So uh, let me guess, you're washing your hands so that we don't all catch your cold. Oh, very good. You remembered what I told you about washing your hands. Yeah, I totally remembered. High five. Oh, wait. <laughs> no high fives. Huh? Huh? Gotcha! Oh, Ooh. yeah, your mom's right. I've been sneezing all morning, so there's germs all over my hands. Yeah. So, um, germs are the things that make you get a cold? Yep, that's right. Hmm. Well, I don't see any germs on your hands. Well, you're right, Sid. Uh, here, let me show you something. You know, we can't see germs with just our eyes. You can't even see them with a magnifying glass. What? Uh, here, take a look. Germs are so small that you need one of these to see them. It's an electron microscope. Cool, looks like a giant robot or something. <laughs> it kind of does, doesn't it? Hmm, so is it like a super duper 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 magnifying glass that makes little things look much, much bigger? <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty good way to describe it. Hmm. Oh, I hope I'm not getting your dad's cold. Ooh, I hope so too. <laughs> well, I don't want to catch a cold either. So after breakfast, I better investigate this more at school. Ah, now that sounds like a great... A false alarm. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. I want to know why things happen and how and want to know. So what do you think? Did you like that video about Sid the Science Kid and about how important it is to wash our hands? So we want to make sure we're washing our hands so we don't catch other people's colds. But you know, we do have the virus, the coronavirus going around now too. So that's even more important to wash our hands and not to touch our faces. So we're going to do an art activity and we're going to make germs. Now these aren't really germs. We're just going to make an art picture with the, to make it look like germs. So because if you looked at, under the, at the germs under a microscope, this is kind of what they would look like. Because you know we need that microscope, that magnifying last to make them look bigger, okay? So what you're gonna need in your art kit that you should have all picked up is the watercolors. So get your watercolors out. We're gonna start painting. I also need a cup of water, a straw, and your googly eyes. Everybody should have some sticky googly eyes in their art kit. So what you're gonna do with your, I, I kind of played a little bit beforehand. I wanted to make sure it worked okay, but I'm gonna make some with you today too. 
So I started with purple, but you can use whatever color you want to use. And I'm going to move the camera down a little bit so you can see. Whatever color you want to use, and you're just going to dip your paintbrush into the water. Because you, you need to use the water to make the paint work. Because if you just stick your paintbrush into the, the paint and it's dry, it's not going to come up on your paintbrush. So get your paintbrush nice and wet. And I used purple before, but I think I'm going to do, what's this color? Orange. She needed a lot of water. Dip it on there. Maybe a little bit more. Set that down. Then you're going to take your straw and you're just going to blow gently. Just move the straw around so you have little pieces of little bits of paint that come out. That one didn't have quite enough water, so we're going to do another orange one. Get your paintbrush wet again. That orange paint on there. You might even a little bit more water. So get some water from your cup without going back in the paint. And let's see how it works now. Take my straw. Oh, that one's much better. Look at that. That's a funny looking germ. Let's do green now. This is kind of fun. So I'm going to get my paintbrush wet. Dip it in the green paint on the paper. Oh, that green's a pretty color. A little bit more water to it. We're going to blow again. Here we go. It's kind of like you're drying the paint on the paper. All right, what color should we do now? Let's do blue. Blue is my favorite color. Let's do blue. On the paper there. Oh, that's a really pretty blue. Look at that. Add a little more water to it. Here we go. Ready? You watching? Here we go. I think that blue one is my favorite. So after you've done, fill up your whole paper, fill up your whole paper with all of those germs. Now I have a couple that are dry, so I'm going to show you what to do. Then you're going to take your googly eyes and we're going to give those germs some eyeballs. Now don't do it with the ones that you just did because they're wet and the eyeballs won't stick on it. Okay? Look at that one. Look how funny that one looks. So I believe in your packet, the paper says you have enough for, to give eyeballs to three different germs. When you run out of the eyeballs, you can even take a marker, as long as it's dry, take the marker and make a face on all your germs. Now, something I forgot to do, and I told you about this before when we did our um, problem solving paper, make sure you write your name on your paper. So I'm gonna get my marker. We usually do this before, but Ms. Melissa forgot. So you can write it at the top. M I S S for Miss and M E L I S S A. Miss Melissa. And there's my name at the top of my paper. And then include that in your packet in your papers that you return on Friday. All right. Bye bye, guys. Hope you had fun.